What's going on, everybody? It's a brand new day. That means a brand new cartooning course right here, right now. I'm Nate Fakes. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, so today I'm going over a topic that I know a lot of you are interested in. Um, and I know this because I asked a while back, like, what would you like me to cover? Like, what's of interest? And this was a big one. Um, what is that? It is syndication. Cartooning syndication. Like, how to get syndicated. Syndication is a still around. Um, it used to be the big bread and butter of all cartooning. And those that you don't know what syndication is or what a syndicate is, basically a syndicate handles the business side of cartooning. Uh, back in the day and now, actually, um, you would create a comic, you'd submit it to a syndicate, and they would, if they picked it up, what they, their job to do would be to or what their job is, is to send your comic to different newspapers. And then the more newspapers you have that picked up your feature, the more you got paid. And uh, it was a win-win for the syndicate and the creator. So uh, fast forward to here to 2019. There are still syndicates out there. Um, there's still cartoonists that make their sole living off of um, syndication in newspapers. But as newspapers are dwindling, um, so is that model. Uh, it's hard to get picked up in a newspaper these days. It still can happen, still can happen. Um, it's just newspapers aren't exactly doing great, as I think we all know. Um, and part of what happens is the cartoons and the comic sections get axed and cut down, and uh, that affects cartoonists. So you can still get syndicated. And I'm going to kind of go over how and where to submit and what to do. Um, there's also online syndication right now too, which is what I fall under uh, that category. My feature Break of Day, which I started back in college in, gosh, uh, 2002. Man, I'm old. <laughs> I started back then, but it got picked up for syndication online through Andrews McMeal's Go Comics um, in 2011, my feature Break of Day. It's a gag cartoon. You've read it, right? I know you have. Uh, you, you've had to have it's probably it's like the most popular strip out there i mean it's not but anyway <laughs> if you haven't read it or if you see like a lot of my instagram posts that's the feature um so i'm syndicated online and that means like they distribute my comic um to other online sources there's a lot of newspapers that um have a digital comic section that break of day shows up in or like anyone that wants to license it stuff like that um, a lot of times they go through go comics so i'm syndicated through there but again, um, once in a blue moon, not often, a new feature is picked up for newspaper syndication still. And a lot of people, that's a huge still, you know, it's still an interest. People want to be in the newspapers. And back when I was a kid, that's all I wanted. I just wanted to be in the newspapers. That was it. Um, because that was where I grew up, like reading the comics in the newspaper. And that was what I wanted to do. That was uh, like no clients, anything like that. I just wanted to be in the newspaper. Um, I just write... On, I just don't see that as an option right now. Um, and I could, again, be wrong. Newspapers may explode again one day in the print version and all might be well with them. But currently, I just don't think being a newspapers only syndicated syndicated comic is really um, going to make you a living. But it could. I mean, I think some of the old school guys that started you know, when newspapers were doing a lot better and are still in it now, that's their sole living. And I, you know, I, that's still out there. I'm pretty sure I don't see their bank accounts and I don't know exactly what they make, but I do know that, um, some cartoonists are just doing, uh, newspaper syndication. So I'm going to again break this up into two parts. Um, this is just basically kind of just a rundown of like where syndication is at, which I've kind of gone over already. So if you still want to go there, still want to go that direction you can nothing wrong with it it's still cool it's good um the pros of being syndicated like even online it just kind of solidifies your professionalism and like what you're doing and you get an audience you know i got an um over ten thousand subscribers on go comics which is really cool um and it brings in money i actually do make some money off of um online syndication not a it's not a living um <laughs> syndication online for me definitely not a living i still have client work and i'm doing my whole uh the cartooning with red bull and all that right now um but um yeah it's it's a possibility so right now there's basically three major syndicates out there still and they all have submission guidelines um and what i'm going to do is kind of take you on the computer and show you what three they are and also kind of show you the breakdown of what you need to do to submit to them 
And I'll also have all these links um, on the bottom. So you can just click on them and find out for yourself and read through it. Because I'm not going to read through every little uh, piece of information on them. But I do want to show you this. So let's hop on the computer, all right? See you there. All right, guys. So as you can see, we are on my fantastic looking MacBook. Um, <laughs> no, really, it looks great. It does. You, if you only saw my view of it here. So, okay, like I was mentioning, there's basically three main syndicates right now. Um, there are a few smaller syndicates out there still, but I like to focus on these three. Um, there's Andrews McMeal Syndication, which I was talking to you about. They are the people that own Go Comics as well. So this is, I feel, is probably the biggest and badass uh, syndicate syndicate out there right now. Um, they have all kinds of features. If you go to Go Comics, you'll see that. They also, I will say, like on Go Comics, you'll run across features that are actually syndicated through other syndicates too, but they do feature them there too. So. Anyway, they have a lot going on right now. Um, but as you can see, this is their submitting a feature um, page for comics. And this breaks it down exactly what you need to do to submit to them. Um, it's very self-explanatory. They have questions throughout all this you may be asking yourself. But like the first one is how many cartoons should you submit? And uh, they answer that very quickly. They just put... We prefer four to six weeks of samples for a proposed feature so we can judge the quality and consistency of your work. So you definitely wouldn't, uh, that's pretty normal with all syndicates. They want to see at least four weeks, four to six weeks. Um, Go Comics, Andrews McMeal, they also want to have a letter explaining the purpose and scope of your material, basically what it's about. They have different things about uh, what size to make it. Um maximum files and how far ahead of deadlines do cartoonists work these are questions that dive a little bit deeper but anyway that's what you can see on their page which again i'll have a link to but um one thing i want to mention with this is definitely pay attention to the submission guidelines like don't act like you don't need to follow them because the second you don't follow exactly what they're asking for is the second they're not going to consider your feature um, make it a very clean submission, you know, this day, just, you know, put it on a word document or something, just make it clean, all sides correctly, uh, try to avoid typos, all that kind of thing. And, um, yeah, just give them what they ask for. Um, along, along with Andrews McMeal is King Features Syndicate. This is a big one too. Um, they have a lot of your favorites, including, well, we won't get into that right now, but, um, <laughs> They have a lot of your favorite cartoons as well, and they have their own submission process here. Um, they're kind of the same deal as Go Comics, Andrews McMeal. They want a cover letter, including they have all the information you should put on there, like your name, address, email, a bit about yourself, a bit about your work. Um, they ask for 24 sample comics. Um, and then a character sheet as well, if you have a feature that is you know, very character oriented. Um, you'd want to send a character sheet kind of going over what each character is about, what they do, their names, all that good stuff. Um, they have it so you can actually um, submit via mail or you can send them an email. Uh, I think all of them pretty much take email submissions these days, but boy, they didn't used to. I remember the days of packing envelopes and uh, sending a uh, as packages as I could um, submission to um to different syndicates but anyway they have a bunch and bunch of questions on here too and different kinds of things about like, again the formatting and the sizes and all that stuff on here so king's features that's another good one and then last but not least out of the big three is creators um syndicate and they also syndicate syndicate a bunch of cartoons um but they have on here basically different types of um you click, so this is their main page, and you click here, and they actually have on their site, you put all the information in this uh, submission page, which is kind of nice, actually, so you don't have to, like, attach anything or do that. Um, you type it all in here, and then just go with what they ask for, and then you choose a um, file that would have your feature on it. Do all this, and you just hit submit and send it away. So that's pretty cool, actually. That's they're the only syndicate, I believe, that has that 
option for submitting. The rest of them you have to send an email, um, which is fine too. Just you gotta be, you know, if you send a attachment, make sure it's sized good so it's not too large of a file and all that good stuff. So anyway, yeah, those are like the big three. Um, so when you're considering to submit to a syndicate, um, those are the three to consider first, I would say. And again, if you dig around, like if you Google cartoon syndicates, there's a few um, smaller ones out there. I'm not gonna get into them today. But this is like the first step of the process. Once, you know, obviously you have to have a bunch of art drawn and ready to go. Um, most of them ask for definitely 24 samples, um, if not, you know, four to six weeks, basically. And yeah, that's how this basically, again, works. You just get it all together, you package it, you send it out, cross your fingers, uh, wish your package luck, and go about it that way. All right, well, that's it. You got your whole packet ready to go. You know how to submit out to them. Part two, what I'm gonna talk about there is just some do's and don'ts of submitting to these syndicates. Um, and the best way to get syndicated, basically. Um, so that's all I'm gonna talk about there. I think I'm gonna have some good tips and advice just so that you don't go too crazy with things. And anyways, we'll talk about that next time. Um, also, I gotta bring it up. I got a new course on the way soon. It's coming together. I say this, I've been saying this now for about a month, I'd say, and it is coming. It is coming soon. I'm really excited about it. I hope you are too. And if you haven't taken my free course, I don't know what you're waiting on. It's been there. I launched this back in December. It's down there now. Um, you can take it. Just There's places all around here to say click to take the free course. Totally free. Um, and you might get a lot out of that, out of that too. But in the meantime, I'm going to let you go uh, on to part two next week. And I'll see you there. Bye.